this has come up quite a bit and I was going back and forth with RJ Hossey and so I wanted to make a video about it. Um, DTG for clothing lines. Um, so direct to garment is what we're talking about. Uh, direct to garment printing for t-shirts um, and garments but specifically for your clothing line. Now as you guys know I've done a video that has a ton of clicks where I state you should start with t-shirts for your clothing line for multiple reasons. That link is now below and so click on click on that either before or after you watch this video um, and so there's a lot of conversation and questions that move forward from that um, and one thing that's gotten brought up is direct-to-garment printing. Uh, go Google that if you don't know what it is um, but basically direct-to-garment think of it as um, a big printer sort of like like your your paper printing like a printer and um, you feed the shirt into it and it it basically um, there's a mechanism where I believe it's the paint is actually spraying onto the shirt the effect of it sometimes actually looks uh, very close to sublimation uh, printing and so it's definitely a different process it's very different from the traditional process of screen printing where you burn film and screens with emulsion uh, in, in a very traditional way so I have a lot of pros and cons that go with DTG now let me qualify uh, when I was the art director at LifeWork now I'm partners at Union Print Company with my former boss there so we're business partners now um, we owned three DTG machines. They were brother machines, I believe. And so that was one segment of the business that we were testing out. What I want to say, it's cool because you can do a lot of things that you can't do with traditional screen printing and you can do it quickly. Like, you can literally have an idea, produce the graphic. Once you have it correctly formatted for the DTG printer, then you can feed it in, let it do its thing and it comes out with with the t-shirt design it's like easy bake oven for printing a shirt there's a lot of really cool things like obviously you could do multiple colors and you don't have the same problem where in screen printing you would get charged a lot more money to do multiple colors four color design is going to cost way more than a one color design uh, whether it's on a white or a black shirt some of the pros of it is that there's a lot more freedom with what you can do with the design and specifically in that you can use a lot of colors you could use portrait type things now there's a little bit of testing that we did you know obviously white shirts come out a little less muddy than black shirts and so you, there's a fair amount of testing that needs to be done now I still say and this is what I told RJ is that it's a bad idea for mass production of your clothing line I think it's cool to have to maybe do one-offs or if you're doing a brand that's like a 5% brand, like a true designer brand where you don't care about mass production and it's more approaching your brand from more, more of an artistic exclusive level. You're doing high price point uh, where volume doesn't matter. You're trying to put out 10 shirts of a design. That's where this can actually make sense and then maybe pay off. But the biggest con is that you cannot reproduce the graphic uh, on a mass quantity level at all. I mean, you don't even want to do 25 to 50 shirts on a DTG printer. It, it's a lot of production for the machine to handle. Now, I mean, if you speak to a rep from Brother or from one of these DTG machines, they told us when we bought the machines that we can definitely do, uh, you know, thousands of shirts a day, but the amount of ink and process involved in case that there's a problem is very costly so of course they're they're gonna sell it to you because they need to move the product if something does go wrong and you do have a production run that's due it's going to be a pain in the ass basically to to get through also if you're doing something simple like one two color shirts I still just think screen printing is a lot more efficient and easier to manage than DTG and I, I just can't see putting that much mileage on a DTG machine and that's my take on it really it's really cool again to do really more elaborate designs that you wouldn't have the freedom to do in screen printing and you can literally have it done in a matter of minutes which is very cool so am I a fan of DTG absolutely do I think it's smart for clothing lines to make mass production? No. I mean, I think if you're going to end up producing, let's just say, a hundred pieces of a of a given T-shirt, you're better off passing it off and doing it with screen printing. And so that's my take on DTG. Any comments? Anything you want to add? Any videos? Any links? Uh, drop it down below. If you got value out of the videos, any of my videos, please like, comment, and sub me. Um, catch up with me on Instagram and Twitter. 
at John Phenom. We'll see you guys on the next one. I love you all. Peace.